to meteorologist Marquina Brown, who has been tracking the conditions on the fire lines. Marquina. Hey there, Pat. Good evening. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, uh, because of the heat and our very dry conditions, not only does this fire surprise me, but I wouldn't be surprised to see more of this happen as we go through the week. So uh, let's hope we can be prepared and let's hope Mother Nature can help us out a little bit in terms of what we are seeing condition wise uh, in terms of temperatures and relative humidity right now. Not bad. Still hot out there, though, uh, right near the fire. We are looking at temperatures that are in the mid 90s. Relative humidity definitely low, right around 16 percent. Winds are not bad, gusting at about 10 miles an hour. So this is What's coming next and, and basically what you need to know, right? We are looking at a prolonged dangerous heat event. So this will continue through the week and for some into the beginning of next work week. Record breaking temperatures definitely continuing to be part of our situation. We had records today. We'll do that for the rest of the week for sure. And I am also monitoring, believe it or not, a chance for showers and storms. I'll let you know if you could see that on top of everything else in your neighborhood. That's coming up in just a little bit back to you. All right, we will see you then, Mark. Now, fire crews are on alert for more than fires. They're ready for people getting overheated as well, and that's partially because it's unbearable during the day, and there's not much relief once the sun goes down. KKL 9's Nicole Comstock is live on a very hot night in Ontario with more. Nicole? Yeah, Pat, well, it's still about 90 degrees out here right now in Ontario, and these hot overnight temperatures are only going to make this heat wave even more miserable. Overdoing it outside will be a lot easier this week. Uh, it's pretty hot. Like next week is going to be over 100. After playing basketball in the high 90s at 6 o'clock this evening, it'll be harder for these guys in Ontario to cool down. Are you guys like running your AC all day at home? No, nah, not really. You know, just at night when it's cool, you know, open the windows, let some fresh air in. Because it won't get that cool at night. Overnight lows for the next seven days will be in the mid 70s to 80 degrees. UCLA researchers say heat waves like the one we are experiencing and climate change are to blame for the rise in very hot nights. I need that relief for, for sure, and that's, uh, yeah, it definitely is more of a risk when there isn't that cooling off period. Steve Ernst is the medical director of the emergency room at San Antonio Hospital in Upland. He says they've already seen some patients coming in with heat exhaustion, and they're expecting to see an uptick in those patients as the conditions worsen this week. It could be an athlete at a, at a football practice. It could be a construction worker. They're actively involved in something and they're not, not really paying attention to their, to their body. Next thing you know, they're on the ground. They've, they've passed out or they're, or they're uh, confused or uh, just feeling very weak or tired. Our job does not stop uh, when it gets hot. The heat wave will be top of mind for first responders this week, too. Uh, we're getting ready to deploy a pre-positioned strike team in response to the heat wave. Jimmy Schiller is an engineer paramedic for the San Bernardino County Fire Department. He says they'll be ready to respond to any fires or heat sicknesses in the coming days, and that all of us should be on heightened alert, too. Something strenuous in this heat, and you notice that your friend is no longer sweating or says that they're cold, uh, those are always uh, really, really big indicators that you're about to have a significant heat-related uh, issue. And staying out of the sun and staying hydrated will be especially important over the next couple of days for the very young, the very old, and the very sick. Reporting live in Ontario, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News. Thank you, Nicole. And we will keep you updated on all the heat-related news as we swelter over the next several days. 